Hey guys, it's Matt from GI Energy. Today we're doing a little video about the ICO solar panel. Um, they've developed a 470 watt solar panel in the same footprint that a lot of their competitors are still working around the sort of 440 to 450 power class. And they also have an all black panel that comes in at 455 watts. So very efficient for the physical size of the panel uh, for a residential installation and they've kept the weight at 22 kilograms as well. So what's special about this panel? So over the years, we've moved from polysilicon, monosilicon, perks technology, N-type cells, top con cells. ICO have created a ABC all back contact cell that essentially has removed the metal off the front of the panel that you generally see on pretty much everything else out there. And they've moved that to the rear of the panel. What this does is it allows more light to be absorbed by the panel. So in general operation or on any given day, the production is a little bit higher because of that extra light that's going into the cells and then obviously being absorbed. But the difference here is it actually assists with sporadic or partial shading that occurs on a number of homes that solar is installed upon. This may be shading from a flue pipe or TV antenna potentially even maybe a power pole that's on the street, depending on how close the home is to the street. The way that this cell works, because the metal is behind there and the way that they've assembled the cells in the panel itself, it's actually able to overcome that partial minimal shading that will occur over time and improve the output and the performance of the overall system. If over time as well you accumulate some dirt and dust that can happen with panels, um, maybe a little bit around the edge where the frame of the panel is, It'll also allow the system to generate as much power as possible for the life of the system with a warranted efficiency of over 90% at year 25 or over 88% at year 30. ICO are the second largest cell manufacturer globally. Uh, they've been in business for 25 years now and they've been making cells for 15 years. So they've got a huge amount of experience um, that they've obviously pulled together from people all over the world that have been in the solar industry for a long, long time uh, to develop this technology um, and obviously bring a really affordable, um, well-built, high-performing panel to the Australian market. The hail testing is also really impressive with this panel. Uh, they've rated and tested the panel for 40 millimeter impact based on the glass uh, being 3.2 millimeters on the cell which compared to a lot of other competitors is generally around that sort of 25 to 30 mil as an absolute maximum. So on the East Coast, particularly in Queensland and New South Wales, we get some pretty horrific storms. So the panel is a lot stronger. Again, that's down to how they've created the panel. So having the metal at the back, they also don't solder the silver onto the cells. So the actual handling process when the panel is made, there's a lot less interference with how it's put together. It's all done in the same factory. So any of the sort of manufacturing defects that may occur with some panels have been completely removed from this panel, improving the strength and feedback from some of the early installations that we've been doing from our installers has been that the panel itself is really sturdy, really robust and easy to work with. So for an installation in Australia, which one of if not the harshest climates in the world, you've got a stronger panel um, for hail, wind, rain, any other storm that comes at it, you've got better efficiency and a really low temperature coefficient. So when it gets really, really warm in the summer, like anything, the panel obviously is gonna get a bit warmer, just like your roof. The temperature coefficient is so low that the performance will still be really, really high on those summer days in the afternoon when you're running aircon and obviously using a lot of power. And continually, the panel will degrade slower over time because of all these things that we've just talked about there, how the system is actually put together in, in terms of the panel manufacturing process and obviously with the type of cell that's included there. With the ABC cell, as well as we've mentioned there, the power class is at 470, which um, we'd expect obviously in the next year or two might even push a 480, which when we're filming some of these videos a few years ago, to think that they'd be potentially very close to a 500 watt solar panel in the same physical size of your sort of 1720, 1750 by 1130. It's pretty amazing, really, and um, a lot of our guys here are really excited because ultimately it means you need one, two, maybe even three less panels to achieve the desired system size. The panel's better built, the performance is exceptional, 
and really they've just developed something here that we're really excited about that's sort of become the next progression in cell technology where a lot of their competitors still have the Topcon panel and they're really struggling to improve the efficiency in the same physical size. So what we expect to see in the next year or so is potentially some of those Topcon manufacturers having a maybe a 450, 465 uh, watt power class panel, but they actually have to increase the physical size. So it'll be longer than 1800 millimeters, uh, maybe 1200 wide, um, which would also obviously add to the weight of the panel. So if you're then increasing a panel to 25, 26, 27 kilos, you need a two person lift to obviously safely have that to meet your swims um, and obviously other regulations. So the fact that ICO have managed to condense this into the same weight, same physical size, but improve the efficiency and the output, as well as obviously having a really long lasting, slow degrading panel, is pretty impressive. So at Geo Energy, we're very excited about what this means. And um, obviously, yeah, reach out to someone that understands the panel and um, make sure it's right for your situation. Thanks.